Here you go, if you want to do something like that, I will show you today. First, I'll begin with the bottle. Then we'll be using this plate. And I'll show you how to use eye angles. Well, eye angles let the prop move with where you are looking. Just like that. The problem is, only follows the red line. Like that. That may cause some issues, but with the power of angle offset, you can simply move the base angle to align with the red line. Problem solved. And for some props, like the tube, they may have trouble even when using angle offset. When you elongate it, the point is still in the middle. And as for the plate, it extends in one direction, but for the tube, it extends in both directions. So, even when you change the angle offset to align with the red line, it'll do this. You can do something like this if you really want to, like a shoulder cannon or something. You can have that. But if you don't, you can simply just attach it to the plate. now a correct angle offset as we want. So now the first proxy I will show is the angles. What I'd like to do first is spawn a default prop and change the alpha to zero. Put another model on the default prop and put the prop on the default model on the default. It, it gets complicated. It sounds com it's honestly easy to just follow the video. And then when you do that, you can duplicate it to make your bottom one if you choose to do so. And then you can look at angles now. I want you to change these around. Not that one, of course. But you can usually just change these props when these have to stay at zero. So now we will use modify then proxy. Proxy, we're gonna do angles first, so we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna type an expression. This you can see I got it wrong. You can see in angles, it's using the x value. The x value is changing in this way. So if I want to go to here, 30. Repaste the proxy. Change it to negative or positive 30. Now, if you do 
want to change the angle to anything else like say if you want to change it to here changes the Z position so we'll do that we'll change this to 90 and Z is here but for this demonstration we'll be using the X like you can put an event and we'll be using a button inverting it get an R. Now whenever you hold R, it does this. You can clone the proxy and then you change, you uninvert it, and then you change the expression. It was 30. So now it flips. Yeah. And you can generally, <coughs> this doesn't apply to all situations, but in this case, you can just paste these in there and it does this. Simple as that. But now, positions. So if you want to do position is it's generally the same steps. You'll be doing this one. So now, we will be making a new proxy, and obviously we will be doing position instead of angles, and it's generally the same. First, we will check the position, we would want it to be here. Five, negative seven. You usually want to run it out so you don't have to count the decimals. Now you usually want to write down these chords. This one doesn't really matter, it doesn't change much. But I'll write it down. X is four, zero is Y, and Z is negative seven. Now once you have that written down, you can change it back to its original position position. Sorry. And then we'll do the same process. Expression. And then we will be doing 7 the Z coordinate first. Change it to Z. Reset that one. Clone this. And since 5 was in the x coordinate, you change that to that. And change that to that. Boom. Now it's where we want it. Now again, you can just put these on an event. So now that you have a set to where you want it to go, you put the reset position back. So, click 
telephone with both your X, Z, Y, whatever proxies you have made for a position that you need. Invert these. Two clones of both your X and your Y or your Z. And for whatever your first starting position is, it may be different for you. Change this. It's the same as the angles. So this one is using 5. And you do the same. We could just copy change this to the negative 7. Now it's a little fast. <laughs> and you can change that with this. It's a little iffy a position, but I can show you easily on angle. This one moves like that. that to 5, moves significantly slower, and this one, change this to a decimal, so it goes in a light speed second, just boom, and then goes down slow, if you want that to happen instead. So yeah, that's how you do positions and angles.